let us see the mismatch repair in eukaryotes so the eukaryotes have proteins that are homologous to mute s and mute l but they lack homologs to mute h there are three human mute s homologs and these are designated as msh2 msh3 and msh6 which participate in the mismatch repair system in eukaryotes msh2 and msh6 they both combine to form a heterodimer called mute s alpha similarly msh2 and msh3 they also combine to form a second heterodimer which is called mute s beta so there are two uh, heterodimers one is mute s alpha and the other is mute s beta the structures of mute s alpha and mute s beta are thought to be similar to the mute s homodimer in bacteria so the structurally they are uh, quite similar mute s alpha initiates mismatch repair at single mismatch and small insertion deletion loops whereas mute s beta only initiates mismatch repair at insertion deletion loops of various sizes so this is the difference between mute mute s alpha and mute s beta mute s alpha can start mismatch repair whenever there is a, a single uh, mismatch or there are small uh, insertions or deletions so this mute s alpha can start repair but the mute s beta it can only start mismatch repair when there is on, uh, when there is uh, insertion or deletion of various sizes so this is the difference between mute s alpha and mute s beta mammalian homologs of the bacterial mute l protein that participate in mismatch repair are designated as mlh1 and pms2 and the heterodimer containing these two subunits is called mute l alpha paul modric and co-workers have reconstituted human mismatch repair system in vitro that is outside the cells in vitro means outside the cells a strand break on either side of the mismatch a strand break on either side of the mismatch is sufficient to direct the repair 